Hi guys! Today we are gonna talk about Abdesamat Ezel Zuli, better known as, as Abdei. Many fans of course have already heard of this Moroccan wonder boy, but we are sure that now it's the right time for him to become not only a famous prospect, but a real star of Barcelona and La Liga. We better explain to you. Let's get into it! As of this moment, no one in the world can say for sure who will be Barcelona's first choice left forward at the start of the season. There is an option with Rafinha on the right and Dembele on the left, or vice versa. Maybe Ansu Fati will get another chance to become an important figure in the Blaugrana tactics. Ferran Torres can hardly be considered a starter at this point. Lamin Yamal will begin his work with the main roster, but given his level, it's too early for him to take up these duties on a regular basis. The truth is that none of these options are foolproof. Dembele feels better on the right, but frequent injuries are still there. After a lot of suffering he went through, Fati still hasn't reached the level of performance he displayed at the beginning of his career at Barca's first team. He still has a notable talent to reckon with, but no guarantees can be given of his ultimate success. It's not worth it to count on the acquisition of a new wing forward either due to problems with FFP. The situation would have been eased if Ferran and Fati agreed to leave, but they are not going elsewhere just yet. No wonder the club simply has no money for a high-profile newcomer. And here is the exact moment when, as Abde, enters the scene. The 21-year-old Moroccan, who had an incredible performance last season on Lona de Sassuna, has gained experience and is ready to fight for a place in Barca's starting lineup. Xavi likes this youngster, therefore he will be given a chance to prove himself. During his senior career, Abde missed only six games due to injury, which is a significant aspect compared to Fatih and Dembele. He has good physique, so there is hope in the youngster continuing to be available on a regular basis. While representing the Sasuna, Abde was a starting lineup regular. He made 34 appearances in all competitions for the team from Pamplona, scoring six goals, delivering two assists and making an important contribution to the team's accomplishments. 7th place in La Liga and the Spanish Cup final. All mentioned points also give a pretty strong impression. Of all Barca footballers sent on loan last year, Abde showed the most successful results. Back in the 2021-22 campaign, he already managed to play 10 La Liga fixtures for Barcelona, but it was mostly a forced measure due to squad struggles. But even then, the inexperienced team demonstrated skills convincing enough to make him deserve this chance. Abde is a god-given dribbler. He's not just good at beating opponents one and one, but he puts a huge effort into it. The Moroccan very quickly scans the situation around him and goes into dribbling in a way to free up as much space as possible not only for himself, but for his teammates too. The 21-year-old winger likes to operate from deep. He is excellent in receiving the ball near the midfield, taking two opposing players and himself and speeding up his attack. As his main trait is his fast feet. Thanks to his speed, he is able to escape from almost every wing back in La Liga, while his excellent physical training allows the Moroccan to safely use his body and prevent himself from being pushed. Last season, the prodigy became the third player in the top leagues under the age of 25 in the number of attempted dribbles per 90 minutes, averaging 6.4 per match. Only Real Madrid starlet Vinicius Jr. has more, 6.7, and Ren winger Jeremy Doku, 9.3. This speaks volumes about the style in which Barcelona's prodigy tends to perform. Thanks to these skills, Abde not only frees up space, but also very often earns set pieces for his side. Barcelona have enough performers who know how to take free kicks, so Xavi's team may definitely need this skill of S. It might be especially useful against teams that will play against Barcelona with a tight defensive block. Last season, Barcelona repeatedly struggled against such teams. We all remember those hard-fought 1-0 victories for which everyone criticized Xavi's words. In order to score more, Barca need to have more performers like S in their respective roster. 
Among Abdi's incredible skills is the ability to change the game's pace. It's not a problem for the Moroccan magician to rush at breakneck speed, but he also can abruptly slow down and totally disorient the opponent, who doesn't have time to react and thus runs past. Here, for example, in this clip, we see Abdi's last season goal against Sevilla. A perfect deception maneuver. A masterpiece. As often practices such things even in the depth of the pitch, which again helps his partners to create the same necessary space. Barcelona wouldn't be themselves if they didn't give the fans a show. And Abde is an excellent candidate to give it. Just look at how classy he gives the ball back with a heel. Imagine Robert Lewandowski or another player from Barca's attacking line taking the place of a Sancho forward. It would have been one of the most spectacular goals of the season. At Osasuna, Abde showed himself not only as an exceptional dribbler. The Moroccan learned how to make long passes and accurately transferred the ball from wing to wing from the legendary Jacobo Arrasate. Right, he doesn't always do it fast enough, but he's still only 21 years old. He is progressing and Xavi is able to bring this skill of his to a whole new level. Last season, Abde was also noted for very skillful shots from outside the box. But in most cases, he was unlucky. The goalkeepers either made unbelievable saves or the ball flew centimeters from the goal net. Obviously, Barcelona have much more possession than Osasuna, so there will be more opportunities for Abde to shine. If we compare as to other famous Moroccan players, we would call him a symbiosis of Tarabt and Ziyech. The Barca representative has Adil's technique and Hakim's field vision. Here's what the coach at Asasuna, Jacobo Arasate, said about Abde. He is a special player. For us, it is a luxury to have him alone, because we cannot have these footballers in any other way. We have to take advantage of him, because he is different in every way. He is a super affectionate guy. All the people love him a lot. Simply put, Abde is already one of the most sensational players on the pitch in Europe. He is incredibly technically sophisticated for his age. And although S is still considered a diamond in the rough, he will do his best to improve his abilities. Agility, balance, stability on two feet, pitch vision and creativity – all these makes Abde a perfect player for Xavi's team. By developing Abde as a footballer, Barca can surely develop him as a brand as well. Football is wildly popular in Morocco. Even at the local league match, 80,000 fans are guaranteed attendance. Thus, you can see a complete sold-out even of the second division games. After Morocco's unexpected success at the World Cup, the football boom in the country reached its peak. One can only imagine how much Abde-related stuff Barcelona can sell in Morocco if he would continue to play regularly and bring Blaugrana a profit. Not to mention that it's not so far to fly from Morocco to Barcelona, four hours by plane. So, integrating S into the first team is a great chance for Barcelona to conquer this market area. For a club suffering from such dire financial problems, any income possibilities are very important. The kid is capable of becoming the next football ambassador in North Africa after Mohamed Salah. And we are not exaggerating. What Abde is doing right now seems very exciting. Last week, Aziz Morocco was crowned U23 Africa Cup of Nations champions. He was the absolute best player of the tournament with three goals and three assists in four appearances. Besides, he was wearing the captain's armband in this now stellar team of champions. As will rest only until the end of this week, and already on Monday he will fly with Barcelona on a tour across the USA. He is so desperate to impress Xavi and get to the starting lineup. He has given up two legitimate weeks of vacation. And you know what? Looks like he already impressed others by his effort, since the head coach of La Liga champions, according to numerous media, has already decided that Abde will remain in the team. Juventus, Wolverhampton Wanderers and Bayer Leverkusen were all keeping tabs on him, though Xavi was against the idea of a sale or another loan deal. It's not the first time that the guy has demonstrated his strong character and desire to fight for a place under the sun.
As a child, the Moroccan tried to get into the famous Elche Academy, but was refused. Coaches reasoned it with his short stature and not enough built physique. Some people in his place would have given up the number one game, but not S. Abdaim managed to persuade the parents to continue knocking on other academies. Eventually, he managed to impress the coaches of the less prestigious club of Alicante province, Hercules FC. That's exactly how he made his way from the youth team to the first team. And his performance for the third league side Hercules was so convincing, Barcelona paid 2 million euros for his services back in the summer of 2021. Already in October 2021, As made his debut in La Liga against Alaves, and in December he scored his first goal in the elite against Osasuna. His journey once again proves that you should never give up, no matter what obstacles are put in front of you. Folks, if you've been in Xavi's place, would you leave Abdi in Barca? Yes or no? Share your opinion in the comments below, subscribe to our channel, and don't forget to click the like button. Football Club was with you, a channel of high-quality football journalism. Bye-bye!